Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello. teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. That's great. We're fine. Hi, hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, hello, Hugo, Giovanni, Francisco Antonio, Jaime Rodriguez, Emerson Mejia, Maria Dolores, and Ivan Ibrahim Ramirez. Welcome to this English hi, course. Teacher. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, teacher. Thank you so much. So, how was your day today? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? Uh, Very good. Very good. Very That's good. Great. Very good. Teacher, sorry, I, I am driving. Uh, okay, I understand. No problem. Just be careful. María Dolores me decía, tell me. Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Hi, my day is very hard uh, work. Oh, you are at work? You're still working? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I understand. So, welcome again, right? Bienvenidos una vez más a el um, inglés. Principiante 3, ¿verdad? Ese es el módulo que vamos a empezar esta noche. Bienvenidos. Gracias por su puntualidad. Es un gusto Thanks. conocerlos a todos, ¿verdad? Y creo que ya todos conocen los lineamientos de este curso, ¿verdad? Pero no está de más recordarlos. Así que para comenzar la clase el día de hoy vamos a ver algunas indicaciones. Vamos a ver unas indicaciones que necesitamos tomar en cuenta durante el desarrollo de este curso. ¿De acuerdo? Para que okay. todo marche. <coughs> Voy a compartirles la pantalla por acá. Me confirman, por favor, si pueden ver la presentación. Let me know, please, if you can see the presentation. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, so, yes. homework and evaluation, tareas y evaluaciones. Let's see. The first thing here, the first point is, es necesario obtener por lo menos el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones. Esa es la nota mínima ¿verdad? para obtener su diploma. Usted tiene que tener el 80% eh, de nota en la plataforma para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente y que al final del curso usted reciba su diploma sin ningún problema. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma. You are going to find the homeworks on the platform. Por cierto, ¿ya ingresaron a la plataforma? ¿Ya aprobaron su usuario y su contraseña? ¿Si están registrados en la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, that's great. Si aún no lo han hecho, les recomiendo que lo hagan. ¿verdad? Por, si re, por si tienen algún inconveniente, ¿verdad? ustedes pueden escribir en el grupo y con gusto les ayudamos. Se recomienda trabajar ¿verdad? en esas evaluaciones justo después de cada clase pero usted puede adelantar contenido. Si es un tema que usted ya conoce, un tema que usted ya domina, ¿verdad? no hay ningún inconveniente. Usted puede ir adelantándose. Y a la hora de la clase, solo pregunta si tiene alguna duda ¿verdad? en los ejercicios que ha resuelto. Pero no hay límite, ¿verdad? Usted puede empezar a partir de hoy a completar esa plataforma y puede terminarla en la primera o en la segunda semana. Usted puede ir adelantando el contenido, puede ir resolviendo esas evaluaciones, pero se recomienda que se haga después de cada clase para que no se vaya atrasando. Si no, al final del curso, pues le va a tocar hacerlo en maratón, ¿verdad? va a tener que desvelarse una noche antes para poder completar la plataforma. Entonces no queremos que suceda eso. 
por esa razón, cada viernes eh, se realiza una revisión de su avance en la plataforma. En el tercer punto podemos leer eso. Todas las tareas de los temas de cubiertos tienen que estar completos. Antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que se, ese registro es enviado en SAFOR semanalmente. El material de apoyo, ¿verdad? si es que en algún momento necesito compartirles algún material, eh, va a ser en formato digital y por medio del grupo de WhatsApp. Por ahí vamos a estar compartiendo cualquier material que sea necesario para el desarrollo del curso y va a ser de manera digital. Esta es la proyección del curso en la semana 1, es decir, de este día hasta el jueves, Vamos a estudiar la sección 1 y sección 2. En la semana número 2, sección 3 y el midterm. Vamos a ver la sección 3 y el examen de medio curso. En la semana 3, we are going to work on the section number 4. En week number 4, we are going to work on section 5 in the final exam. So, don't forget about this. No se les olvide esto, ¿no? porque así vamos a ir trabajando. Si en la semana 1 cubrimos la sección 1 y sección 2, significa que esta misma semana en la plataforma usted debe de haber completado esos ejercicios también. ¿Alguna duda hasta el momento? ¿Do you have any question? No, 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 So, normas de convivencia, cómo debemos de comportarnos durante la sesión virtual. Y después de cada participación, no se le olvide silenciar, silenciar su micrófono, porque a veces se oyen conversaciones en el fondo, se oye el perrito del vecino que está ladrando, o los vendedores que todavía andan en la calle, entonces queremos evitar eso, entonces después de cada participación, Recuerde silenciar su micrófono. Esta indicación, nombre completo. Usted tiene que tener su nombre completo. Tiene que tener la cámara encendida. Participación activa. Hacer uso del chat. Si tiene alguna pregunta, puede hacer uso del chat también. O levantar su manita virtual. Por ahí hay una opción donde usted puede pedir ayuda. O indicar que usted tiene alguna duda. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta o un comentario? Y siempre mantener el respeto entre nosotros. ¿verdad? Todos estamos aprendiendo. We all are learning. So, es importante que nos apoyemos los unos a los otros. Durante estas cuatro semanas vamos a ser un equipo aprendiendo este bonito idioma. Entonces debemos apoyarnos entre nosotros. En el grupo de WhatsApp, si alguien tiene alguna duda y algún compañero ya la sabe... Y no hay ningún problema, usted puede ayudarle también a sus compañeros. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Yes. Yes, de acuerdo. Ok, that's great. Eh, any doubt, any question? No hay dudas, no hay preguntas. Bueno, acerca de la asistencia, ¿puede usted perder clases? Pues en realidad no hay permiso, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que cumplir con el 80% de asistencia a las clases. Tiene que avanzar, ¿verdad? Y desarrollar los ejercicios en la plataforma. Ya vamos a darle un vistazo a la plataforma también. En la plataforma usted va a encontrar videos informativos, eh, tareas y las evaluaciones. Este curso comienza el día de hoy y termina el día 29 de septiembre. Ese es las fechas son las fechas establecidas ¿no? en caso de que algo suceda durante alguna semana puede ser que se cambie el horario pero no es muy común el horario es de lunes a jueves vamos a tener clases de lunes a jueves de 8 a 9 de la noche la duración de la clase es de 60 minutos podemos pasarnos un poquito ¿verdad? a veces si hay algo que discutir al final de la clase no hay ningún problema podemos pasarnos un poquito de esa hora pero sí no podemos tener menos de 60 minutos. ¿De acuerdo? Así que ese es el horario establecido de 8 a 9. De 8 a 9. No se le olvide trabajar los ejercicios en la plataforma.
para que al final satisfactoriamente usted obtenga su diploma. Eso sería todo. Si va a faltar, por favor, no olviden notificar, ¿verdad? Puede hacerlo a mi WhatsApp personal o puede hacerlo en, en el WhatsApp del grupo. Mire, teacher, tengo una emergencia. Yo no pude porque las emergencias existen, ¿verdad? Pero recuerde que es el 80% de asistencia a las sesiones virtuales. ¿Ninguna duda hasta el momento? Yo, teacher, tengo la duda. Dígame. Este, en el caso que en el grupo hoy lo van a agregar, porque creo que no está en el grupo. ¿El grupo de, el WhatsApp? de WhatsApp? Sí. Vaya, no se preocupe, ya voy a compartirles el enlace para que se puedan unir. Si no, en el correo que recibieron con las indicaciones, ahí está el enlace para el grupo también. Ok, perfecto. Para que pueda unirse. Ok, gracias. Any other question? Thank you so much for your question. You're welcome. Okay, so let's introduce ourselves. Presentémonos entonces. Ahora que ya conocemos los lineamientos, my name is Ever Nieto. Who wants to continue? ¿Quién más quiere presentarse a la clase? Any volunteer? Teacher. Okay, go ahead, do it. Good evening. My name is Jose Alberto Enriquez. I live in San Martin. Nice to meet you, Jose Alberto. Thank you so much. Who wants to continue? Any other volunteer? Um, hello, uh, my name is Hugo. Uh, I am from Santa Peque. Uh, nice to meet you. Class. Nice to meet you too, Hugo. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Teacher, I am. You? Okay, go ahead, do it. Do it, please. Hi, good evening. My name is Maria Dolores de Lopez. Um, I live in San Salvador. Um, I have uh, two sons. I marry. Um, I have a uh, 43 years old. I like the English language. Thank you. Oh, that was perfect. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Maria Dolores. So you say, I'm 43 years old. I'm 43 years old. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer tonight? Good evening, everybody. Hello, good Hi. evening. Hello. My name is Ivan Ramirez. I'm from San Martin. Nice to meet you, everybody. Nice to meet you too, Ivan. Anyone? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Cristina. Welcome to the class. The last two people, the last two people. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Lorde Maria. Uh, nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the last one, el último valiente. The last great people. Hi. Hi. Hello, everybody. Good evening. My name is Damaris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Damaris. Welcome to the class. Okay. Uno más. Escuché que había alguien más. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, hello, uh, teacher. And my name is Fares Juarez. Um, I live in Aguatapan. Um, I am 22 years old. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay, thank you so much. Nice to meet you too. Samuel Juarez, right? Oh, you say Juarez. Oh, that is an interesting name. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you so much. So, it's nice Hello, to meet you. Hello, teacher. Hello. 
tô arreda, né? É... I am from Cuscatan uh, Singo. Uh, my name is Daniel Paniagua. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Daniel. Welcome to the class. Anyone? Any other volunteer? I have Francisco Antonio. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. I am Francisco Calderon. Uh, I live in Guasapa. Uh, I am... Um, 31 years old, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, Francisco. Welcome to the class. Anyone? Thank Any you. other volunteer? No more? Hello. Uh, Hello. My name is Edgardo Ired. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet mm. you, sorry. Don't worry. Nice to meet you too, Luis. Welcome to the class. Oh, Edgar, you say, right? Okay. Anyone? Hello. Hello? My name is Maria Elizabeth. I am from Wizucar La Libertad. I am 22 years old. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Maria. Welcome to the class. It's nice to meet you. Anybody? Okay, if we don't have any other volunteer, uh, let us start with tonight's class. Tonight, we're going to learn how to answer the question, when's your birthday? Do you know that question? When's your birthday? When's your birthday? ¿Cuándo es su cumpleaños? Es la fecha más importante de algunos, ¿verdad? El día en que nacimos. So tonight we are going to learn how to answer that question. So let's go with the class. Let me see. It is here. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Welcome to the class number one. And the topic for tonight is when is your birthday? The goal for tonight is to learn how to answer this question. So we are going to start with this. Do you remember the months of the year? ¿Quién se acuerda de los meses del año? The months of the year. Teacher? ¿Puedo yes. teacher? Okay, Maria Dolores. Okay. The, um... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, very good job. Thank you. I have Francisco Antonio Calderon too. Thank you so much, Maria. Okay. Thank you. January, February, March, April, May, June, June, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, very good job. Thank you. That was good. Thank you so much, Francisco. So let's start with the first one. The first month of the year is January. January is the first month, January. The second month is February. Then we had March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and finally we have December. Those are the 12 months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Who wants to try? Any volunteer? Who wants to try reading the months of the year? Anyone? Hi. I am. Thank, thank you so much, Ivan. I can do it. I can do it. I will try. <laughs> I will try. Okay, wow. go ahead. I know that you can do it. Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. 
December. That was perfect. Thank you so much, Ivan. Excellent job. Any other volunteer? I am teacher. Thank you, Luis Iraeta. Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Thank you so much. And finally, we have a Jose Alberto. Excellent job, Luis. Thank you. Jose Alberto, can you please start? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Let's see, I have another people here who wants to participate. And I have Damaris Rodriguez. Do it. Hello, please. teacher. Hello, Daniel. Um, January, February, March, April, May, June, Julian, uh, August, September, October, November, December. Thank you so much. Very good try. Very, very good. Thank you. So we say April, May, June, July, August. September, October, November, and December. Uh, Hugo Giovanni, you are the last one, Hugo. Do it, please. January, November, uh, March, April, May, uh, May uh, June, July, August, September, no October, November, December. Great, that was great. Thank you so much. Excellent. You're welcome. And Damaris, Damaris, I'm sorry, Damaris, it's your turn. Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, no November, December. Thank you. Excellent job, Damaris. Thank you so much. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Thank you. Let's go over the next. Para decir la fecha, también necesitamos estos números. Vamos a verlos a continuación. For days, we need ordinal numbers. In Spanish, which are the ordinal numbers? ¿Cuáles son los números ordinales en español? Any idea? Do you have any idea about ordinal numbers in English or in Spanish? Primero, segundo. Ah, yes, you're right. So we have first, second. In Spanish, primero, segundo, los números que expresan un orden. Esos son los números que necesitamos para responder la pregunta When's your birthday? So, vamos a necesitar el mes que nació y el día, ¿verdad? The date. So, let's start with these. Acá están los primeros días. We have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. First, second, third. A partir del número cuatro tenemos que terminar con el... Fourth. Fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's go with the next. Then we have eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twentieth. Twentieth. And then we have this. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Estos son los números ordinales que vamos a necesitar, ¿verdad? Los 31 días que traen algunos meses. So, 
you are going to find a video for you to practice the pronunciation of these ordinal numbers. You are going to find the video on the platform so you can watch and listen and the pronunciation of the ordinal numbers, the, let's see, the, the times that you need, las veces que usted necesita. Ahí va a poder practicar viendo ese video con los números ordinales. So let's try to say some of them. What is this one? Let's practice. 18. 18. 18. Thank you. Let's see the next. 11. 11 or 12. 12. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, yes, 12. thank you. What about this other one? 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. The next one, an easy Ten. one. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. 10. 10. let's see the other one. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. <coughs> Let's see the next. Oh, sorry. 21. 20, 21. 21st. 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 Okay, is it 21 or 21st? 21st. 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 Okay, you can also say 20. 21st. Both pronunciation of the number 20 are correct. You say 20 or 20. 21st, 21st. What about this other one? Is it five or fifth? Fifth. 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 What about this one? Yeah. First. So first. 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 Okay. 31st. 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 And what about this one? Second. 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 And this other one? 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. And the next? Third. 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 And the last first. one. First. 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 So let's continue practicing. Now it's month. Who wants to read this day? June 15th. June 15th. June 15th. Let's see the other one. January 13th. January 13th. Thank you. And let's see the other one. It's an easy one. December 25. Okay. Is it December 25 or December 25th? December 25th. December 25th. Okay, thank you. The, the right answer is December 25th. What about this one? January. My, 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 May 11th. May 11th. Ah, okay. Is it May 11th or May 11th? May 11th. May 11th. May 11th. Oh, May, thank you. May, May 11th. What about this one, July 20 or July 20th? July 20th. July 20th. July 20th. July 20th. July 20th. Okay, forget about the 21st. What about this one? 
September 5. September. September. September 5th. Okay. Okay. Is it September, September 5th? September 5th. Thank you, September 5th. Thank you. September what about this one? October. 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 Thank Second. you. And the next one? March. 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 And let's see this one. February. 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 And the last one is. April 1st. April 1st. Then we have here this, the following dates. We have June 15, December 25th, January 13th, May 11th, July 20th, September 5th, November 2nd, April 1st, October 31st, March 9th, in February 3rd. Thank you so much for your help in this exercise. You did a great job. I really appreciate your help practicing this date. Now let's go with this information. I have this question. When's your birthday? When is your cumpleaños? So to answer this question, we need to follow the, this. We need the special day plus the verb be plus the preposition on plus month and date. Let's see, for example, my birthday is on January 31st. So a special day, we have here the special day. Second, this is the special day, the verb to be, the preposition on month. This is the month, January in this case, and the day. 31st. So we are going to answer this question in this way. My birthday is on January 31st. Then look at this. When is your mother's birthday? ¿Cuándo es el cumpleaños de su mamá? When is your mother's birthday? So you say, my mother's birthday is on December 16th. When is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is on February 20th. Do you have any question about this information? No, teacher. No questions? Okay, no. that's great. I need, I need to volunteer to practice in these three questions. Who wants to try? Raise your hand. Okay, I have Luis and Jose Alberto in the first turned. Okay, Luis and Jose. So Luis, you are going to ask the question and Jose, you are going to read the answer for practicing this. So let's start over here. Okay. Uh, what is your birthday, Jose? My birthday is on October 20th. Okay, that was great. Thank you so much. Ahora, Jose, can you ask the question to Luis? When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is on April 27th. Thank you so much. Now, Luis, can you ask this question to Jose, please? Okay, Jose, when is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is on June 1st. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Anyone? Another two volunteers to practice in this part. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Francisco. Francisco and 
Hi, hi, teacher. Okay, Francisco and Maria. Thank you, Francisco and Maria. Thank you. So, Francisco, can you ask the question to Maria, please? Okay, teacher. When's your birthday, Maria? Hi, um, my birthday is on April uh, 16th. Okay. Okay, when is your me. mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is April uh, 16th. Okay. Yeah. When is your father's birthday? Uh, my father's birthday is in May 11th. Okay, it's on. It's on. on. May 11th. It's on May 11th. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. Very good job, guys. Thank you so much, Luis, Jose, Francisco, and Maria. So, take a look at this. Oh, I have another volunteer. Let's see. Luis, do you have a question? No, teacher. Sorry. Okay. I have Hugo. Do you want to participate or you have a question? Hugo? Okay. okay. Do you want to participate? Okay, I need another volunteer to practice with Hugo. You are the last one. So, any other volunteer? Uh, Who wants to try? Who wants to try? I want to uh, try, teacher. Okay, Ivan. Ivan and Hugo, please. So, Ivan, can you ask the question to Hugo, please? Okay, okay. When is your birthday, Hugo? You. Uh, my birthday is uh, September uh, 7. On 7. Right. Okay. My birthday is, is on September 7. Thank you. Yes. The next, the next question. When is your mother's birthday? My mother. The uh, birthday is uh, January uh, 11. Okay. When is your father birthday, Hugh? Uh, my mother birthday is uh, September uh, 2024. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. Now let's go to the next information here. Uh, just a second. Okay. Eh, me toca, ¿no? Me toca a mí, me toca decir la... Oh, do you want to ask the question? Okay, tenía alguien más con la manita levantada. ¿Quién era? Can you please do it again? Who was, who was? Nobody? Here, teacher. Oh, thank you, Jamilet. Okay, Hugo, can you ask the question to Jamilet? What is it? What is, what is uh, your birthday, Jamilet? My birthday is on December 6th. Uh, where is your mother birthday? My mother, my mother birthday is in is October six, 16th. Okay. When is your father birthday? My father birthday is in 18th, October 18th. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Very good job, top of you. Let's go with the next. Now let's see. Eh, hay ocasiones en las que no queremos decir la fecha exacta, ¿verdad? Eh, when is your birthday? Then you say, um, it's in April. So you say, just the month. Solo el mes. ¿verdad? En ese caso, vamos a necesitar esta preposición. Si decimos la fecha completa, necesitamos on. If we are going to say just the month, we are going to need in. ¿De acuerdo? So when's your birthday? You can say, my birthday is in April. 
When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is in May. When is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is in June. Si vamos a decir solo el mes, utilizamos in. Si decimos la fecha completa, vamos a necesitar on. ¿De acuerdo? Don't forget about this, please. Then let's practice again. Any volunteer to answer this question? When is your wife birthday? When is your wife's birthday? I don't, I don't have wife. <laughs> ah, okay, you are not married. Okay. So anyone who has a wife? Anyone married in this group? Nobody? Everybody is single in this group? I am single. I'm single. Oh, that's great. So I have Francisco Antonio. Okay. My wife's birthday is in April. It's in April. Okay, excellent. So you don't want to say the date, right? So you say, my wife's birthday is in April. Well, let's go with the next. Husband. When is your husband's birthday? For the girls in the class who are married, when is your husband's birthday? Teacher, Thank my, you, Maria. Yeah, my uh, birthday, my my husband's birthday is uh, February, no, uh, January 43. Okay, thank you. My husband's birthday is on January 23rd. 23rd, ah, okay. 23rd, excellent. Thank you for your answer. Let's go with the next. Let's see, when is your best friend's birthday? A ver si de verdad es su mejor amigo y recuerdan la fecha de su cumpleaños. When is your best friend's birthday? Here, teacher. Thank you, Yamilet. My best friend's birthday is in October 11th. Excellent. Thank you so much. But you say it's on. My best friend's birthday is on. October 11. Thank you. Hugo Giovanni, when is your best friend's birthday? Uh, my, uh, my best friend, uh, January. January. It's in January. Thank you. It's in January. It's in January. Thank you. Let's see the next one. Okay. When is your brother or sister birthday? Anyone here? When is your brother's birthday? My sister, bro, my sister birthday is in March. Thank you so much. Any other answer? My sister birthday is in May. Is in May. Excellent. Brother? My sister birthday is is in January. Thank you so much. The last answer, when is your brother or sister birthday? No one? Let's go with the next then. When is your mother's birthday? A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Do you remember? When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is in April. In April. Thank you, Luis Francisco. My mother's birthday is on December 29th. Thank you, Hugo Giovanni. My mother uh, is Friday, uh, December uh, 21. December 21st. It's on December 21st. So, Thank you. My Hugo. mother, my mother uh, is in May. It's in May. Thank you. Flor de Maria. My mother is my mother birthday in January. It's in January. Thank you. My mother birthday is in January. Thank you. Okay. 
el uso de la preposición in también nos puede ayudar, ¿verdad? Cuando no recordamos la fecha exacta y decimos solo el mes. So that's great, thank you. Y let's see the last question. When is your father's birthday? When is your, thank you. I have three people. I have Luis, Hugo. Primero Luis y luego Hugo, please. Okay. My father's birthday is in September. Thank you so much. My father is the birthday in December. It's in December. And finally, we have Ivan. Thank you. My father's bill day is in July. It's in July. Thank you so much. Then let's go with the next. También las fechas no sirven para eh, ocasiones especiales, ¿verdad? O fechas especiales. Special date or celebration, we say. Let's see, for example, this. When is Independence Day in El Salvador? When is Independence Day in El Salvador? It's on September 15th. Okay, excellent. It's on September 15th. When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? My the Mother's Day is uh -huh. on May 20th. 10, 10, 10. Ah, okay, it's on May 10th. Thank you. Mother's Day is on May 10th. Thank you. San Valentine's Day. Is on. Is on. Uh, 14. Okay, 14 February or February 14. February 14. February 14. Okay, excellent. It's on February 14. And Teacher Day. Is on when is Teacher Day in El Salvador? The Teacher Day is on uh, June. Uh, 21st. June 21st. Ando First. cerca. June 22nd. Okay, 22. June 22nd. Ah, June 22nd. This on June 22nd. Thank you. So, New Year's Day. When is New Year's Day in El Salvador? It's on December. September. 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 Mm. Uh, December. It's, no, it's first, uh, January 1st. Okay, excellent. January 1st. It's on January 1st. It's on January 1st. Let's go with the next Christmas Eve day. When is Christmas Eve day in El Salvador? On December 21st. December 21st? It's on is December it 25th. Okay. 24th. 24th. Teacher, how? 24. December 24th. It's on December 24th. It's on December 24th. Thank you so much, Ivan. What is your question? Tell me. Tell me, what is your question? Escuché que alguien tenía una pregunta. Yes. Um, what if if day? Yes. Eso significa vísperas. Christmas Eve Day. It's on December 24th. So, las vísperas de Navidad. Christmas is on December 25th. La Navidad es el 25, ¿verdad? pero el, nos desvelamos el día 24 esperando que sea Navidad. So, Eve, vísperas. Lo mismo sucede con New Year's Eve Day. Víspera de Año Nuevo, que lo celebramos el 31. December 31st. Flor de María, do you have a question? Eh, era lo mismo que, que, que significaba, pero ahorita estoy anotando. Gracias, teacher. 
Okay, excellent. Thank you. Do you have any other question? If no question, I need a volunteer. Who wants to practice reading these sentences? Any volunteer? Who wants to try reading these sentences? Anyone? The first. Okay, thank you. Independence Day is on September 15th. Thank you so much. Flor de Maria, the second one, please. My mother day is on my 20th. Uh, Ten. Thank you. For the number three, any volunteer for number three? I have Hugo Giovanni. Thank you. Uh, Sir Valentine, the uh, day is on per. February uh, for uh, 2014. 14th, thank you. 14. Damaris, the next one, please. Thank you. Uh, the teacher's day is on June 22nd. Thank you so much. The next one, please. Francisco. The New Year's Day is in El Salvador is on January 3rd. Thank you so much. And the last one. I need the last volunteer. Dun, 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 dun. Who wants? Who wants to try? Then I'm going to choose somebody. Christmas, Christmas, ever, Christmas Eve's day is on December 24th. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help in this part. Do you have any questions? So we use months and days also to talk about special days. Do you have any question? Nobody has a question. That's great. So let's go with the next. Ta -ta -ta -ta. We have a conversation practice here. So we are going to practice this conversation. Look at this. What is your favorite month? De los 12 meses, ¿cuál es su favorito? What is your favorite month? So the other person answered, my favorite month is July. So why do you like July? Because the weather is hot and it's my birthday. Nice. My favorite month is August. Why? Do you have a birthday in August? No, but I had vacation. No, but I have vacation. Good reason. So I have here Two volunteers, so Flor de Maria or Hugo, do you have a question? Okay, teacher. What is your favorite month, Hugo? My favorite uh, month is or uh, August. August. Quite like. Uh, August. Um, days um, fifteen um and twenty twenty five. Nice. My favorite month is this December. Yes. Um, my favorite. My favorite. Uh, September. Why? Oh. Do you have a birthday in August? No. Um, no. No. Okay. Uh, Somewhere. Thank don't you. Know. Thank you very much. That was great. So you changed here the months. So look at this question. What is your favorite month? ¿Cuál es su mes favorito? Then you answer, my favorite month is. Y usted dice su mes, then why do you like? ¿Por qué te gusta ese mes? Why do you like? And then we answer because. Because it's my birthday. Porque es mi cumpleaños. Oh, because the weather is hot. The weather is rainy. The weather is cold. So nice. My favorite month is August. Why? Do you have a birthday in August? No, but I have vacation. Good reasons. So I need another two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try? 
just two people. I have Luis and Damaris. Thank you so much. Luis, you are A, Damaris, you are B. Okay. What is your favorite month, Damaris? My favorite month is July. Why do you like like do you like July? Um because the water is hot and it is my birthday. Nice. My favorite month is August. Why? Do you have a birthday in August? No, but I have vacation. Good reason. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Very good. So I have vacation. Vacation. I have vacation in this work. Vacation. The rest. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. I have another conversation here. Hey, Sally, will you come to my birthday party? When is your birthday party, Lisa? It's on May 2nd. That's next month. No, it isn't next month. Yes, it is, Lisa. We are in April and next month is May. So who wants to try in this small conversation? To volunteers to practice. I have Flor de Maria and Luis. Y luego tenemos a Francisco and Jamilet. Y en la tercera participación, we are going to have Hugo and Damaris. So let's start with Flor de Maria and Luis. Flor, you are A. Luis, you are B. Okay. Do it, please. Hey, Luis. Will you come to birthday party? Luis? When is your birthday party, Flor? It is on August 3rd. That next month? No, it is next month. Yes, it is, uh, Flor. We are in April and next month is May. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Very good job. Thank you, Luis and Flor. The next one. It was Francisco and Jamilet, right? So, Francisco, you are A. Jamilet, you are B. You can start now, please. It's just repeat the conversation. True teacher? Yes. Okay. If you want, you can change. You can change the names, you can change the months. No problem. It's just to practice the pronunciation of the date. So don't worry, you can change everything you want. Okay. Hey, Jamilet, will you come to my birthday party? When is your birthday party, Francisco? It's on May 2nd. That's next month? No, it is next month. Yes, it is, it is Francisco. We are in April and next, next month is May. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then finally, I have Hugo and the Maris. Right? Hugo and Damari. So Hugo, you are A, Damari, you are B. Hey, Damari, will you come to, to my birthday party? When is your birthday party, Hugo? It's on May 2nd. That's next month. No, it's next month. Yet it is, uh, Hugo. We are in April and next month is May. Thank you so much. That was an excellent job. Thank you very much. Uh, Flor, Luis, Francisco, Yamilet, Hugo, and Damaris. Thank you very much for your help in this exercise. You did a great job. Let's go with the last one. This is the last conversation. Take a look at this. It says, when is your birthday, Freddy? It's on August 31st. That's the same day as Halloween. 
No, it isn't. Halloween is on October 31st. I see. Two volunteers to practice. Uh, two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. I have two volunteers, Jose Alberto and. Escuchemos Flor de María and Jose Alberto, please. Then we are going to listen Hugo and Andrea. So, can you please start? Okay. When your birthday, eh, ¿cómo se llama el compañero? José Alberto. Alberto. José. José Alberto. It's on August 31st. That's the same day as Halloween. No, it isn't. Halloween is on October 31st. I see. Thank you. Excellent job. Let's go to the next. Next volunteers, please. Hugo okay. and Andrea. Okay. When is your pray, uh, pray day, uh, Andrea? It's on August 31st. That's the same uh, day as Halloween. No, it isn't Halloween, it's on October 31st. I see. Okay, thank you so much. A great job and very good try. Yes, this word, that's the same. That's the same day as Halloween, the same. Thank you very much. Let's go with the last exercise for tonight. And the last exercise is this. So when is Halloween? Any volunteer to answer this question? When is Halloween? It's on October 31st. Okay. It's on it's October, October 31st. 31st. When is Women's Day? When is Women's Day in El Salvador? The women's uh, women day is May eight. May eight. Okay, we're going to discover that. So you say May eight. May eight. Let's go to the next. When is the day of the cross? When is the day of the cross? It's on. It is on May 3rd. Okay. Let's go to the next one. When is the Labor Day? When is the Labor Day in El Salvador? So, um, the Labor Day is May 1st. May 1st? It's on May 1st. It's on May 1st. May 1st. May 1st. When is All Souls Day? Cuando es el show. When is All Souls Day in El Salvador? What is is? Do we say El Día de los Muertos? It's on November on 2nd. November 2nd. It's on November 2nd. When is the National Pupusa Day? Todo día. Todo día. Sorry. Every day. You say every day. Sorry. <laughs> ah, there is a day when we celebrate the National Pupusa Day. Didn't you know? You are going to discover that today. So Halloween is on October 31st. You were right. Excellent. Women's Day is on March 8th, and you say May 8th. El día estaba correcto, el mes, eh, dijeron May, May 8th. So the day of the cross is on May 3rd. You were right too. Labor Day is on May 1st. Yes, you were right. All Soul Day is on November 2nd. You were right too. And the National Pupusa Day is on November 14th. November. Pero creo que eso no cambia. Sí, tiene que estar en un fin de semana, creo. Pero no estoy tan seguro. Ah, ok. 
Tiene que sí. caer en fin de semana. Si lo pasan, si no cae fin de semana, lo pasan para un fin de semana. Ok. Ok, hay un error acá en una de estas oraciones. What is it? What is it? In the oh. final sentences. Ah, ok. What's the matter there? The month is November. Oh, yes, you're right. Excellent. Very good. So we are going to change that right now here. So let's see. November. It was an extra E here. Okay. Do you have any question about tonight's class? Moms and no, dates. Sure. Ordinal numbers nice. too. So don't forget that you can watch the video on the platform. Eh, intenta ingresar si no lo ha hecho, por favor. Y si tiene algún problema, eh, escriba en el grupo de WhatsApp. Flor de María, do you have a question? Eh, no, teacher, solo tengo una consulta. Eh, la hora en que usted pasa lista, ¿a qué hora es? Perdón, porque yo entré como dos minutos tarde quizás de las ocho. Vale, muy bien. En este programa este, no se pasa lista, sí, ¿verdad? Como que les vaya diciendo nombre por nombre, pero acá me aparecen los que están conectados. Entonces yo le tomo una captura de pantalla y, y ya tengo listo la lista de los que sí se conectan, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. No es que les vaya a pasar lista okay. nombre por nombre, ¿de acuerdo? Thank Pero aquí me aparecen you. los que están conectados y tomo una captura de pantalla and we are ready. Any other question? No question. Eh, teacher, veo que hay otra María, María Dolores, creo. Y yo soy María Elizabeth. Entonces, cuando dice María, eh, no sé a cuál se refiere, si a la otra chica o a mí. Ah, ok. Eh, tengo Flor de María, María Elizabeth, eh, and let's see. Había alguien más con el nombre de María, ¿verdad? Ay, eh, teacher, María Dolores. Oh, María eh, Dolores. Eh, ¿Le parece si a María Elizabeth le llamamos? Elizabeth y Flor. Sí, sí. ¿Es ok? Y María Dolores se queda con My María. My name is Loli. I like Loli. Oh, Loli. Ok. We can call you Loli too. No problem. Ok, guys. That's the class for tonight. The, any other question? Any other comment? Excellent class. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Teacher, Bye. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question, Damaris? Eh, fíjese de que en, normalmente yo en este horario eh, estoy en mi casa. Eh, o sea, estoy trabajando. Eh, en el curso anterior lo que hacía, que sí me conectaba, sí estaba escuchando la clase, participaba, pero muchas veces no podía encender la cámara. Eh, no sé si habría algún problema o el, el sistema sería diferente. Gracias. Bueno, uno de los lineamientos es que usted tiene que tener la cámara activa, ¿verdad? Para ver si esté pendiente de la clase. Pero eh, eh, si está poniendo atención, si está lista para participar, a veces la conexión es un poco lenta. Entonces, entendería, ¿verdad? Que si tiene apagada su cámara es porque algún problema está sucediendo ¿verdad? o tiene usted algún inconveniente. Así que no se preocupe. Si usted está pendiente de la clase, tomando apuntes y lista para participar, no le veo mayor problema. Sí, teacher. Y también yo le notificaría cualquier cosa. O sea, yo le estaría informando. Ok. Then I don't have any problem with that. Thank you. Y también comentarle que este, yo también trabajo a veces de noche y, por ejemplo, ahorita estoy acá, pero he podido eh, conectarme sin, sin tener mucha actividad. Entonces, también en ocasiones voy a tener la cámara apagada y aunque ande escuchando la clase. Ok, I understand, I understand, no problem with that. Solo que okay. traten de no, de no faltar a las clases, pero siempre conéctense, ¿de acuerdo? Que ese no sea un impedimento para que usted se conecte. ¿De acuerdo? 
Okay, so any doubt, any question, okay. you can write on the WhatsApp group. Cualquier duda, cualquier comentario, lo puede escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, ahí le vamos a poder atender, ¿verdad? Si yo no puedo, uno de los compañeros puede hacerlo. Si tiene alguna duda de un ejercicio, podemos ayudarnos entre todos para que vayamos juntos resolviendo la plataforma. So, a partir de este día, ya pueden comenzar a trabajar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ingresen, prueben que todo esté bien, eh, vean los videos y empiecen a resolver los ejercicios para que no se nos acumule el trabajo al final de la semana. ¿De acuerdo? Ha sido un gusto. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Good night tomorrow. 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 Good night t